Welcome back to another episode of Live Your Yes Life podcast. I am one of your co-hosts, Lisa Limita, and this podcast is a place where we cover channeled thoughts, discussion, and interviews on what it takes to go from dreaming and wishing to actually living your yes life. So today I want to talk about something that I'm feeling really called to right now, which is wintering and taking some time to go within, even in the busyness of this holiday season. You guys, I got to tell you that I have been feeling so called to changing everything in my home right now. We're in the middle of a light, I would say, renovation project, which is so crazy because we're only a few weeks out from Christmas at the time that I am recording this. And right now, if you were to walk out of my office and go downstairs, you would find my house in complete disarray. All of the furniture has been removed from my living room. Half of it is piled in my kitchen as we speak. We just did a complete repainting. We have new trim coming up next week and we have all new furniture for the living room coming in. And I keep asking myself if I'm insane to be doing this right before the holidays because I would love to be putting my tree up and decorating and all the things, but I can't do that when we're just changing everything. But the thing is I'm feeling so called to create a new space in my home. And I'm curious, have you been feeling this too? Have you be, either been feeling called to be at home? Maybe for you, you've been called to really declutter, to get rid of the old, to create a new space. Even if you're just changing things around, I've been talking to a lot of people who are saying, yep, feeling the same thing right now. And I think our home is so, so important. Like our home should feel like a sanctuary. When we walk in the door, it's the place where, you know, we just get to come back to, to recenter, to just have it be such a safe space, not just for us, but for our friends, for our family, for everyone who enters in. And I'm just really feeling that right now. So I feel like that leads into the topic that I want to talk to you about, which is going within and really embracing stillness during this winter season, during the holiday season. And it's something I personally am going to be doing. We actually have a coaching immersion. You guys might be familiar with this. A few times a year, we'll take our clients through something called an immersion experience where we spend a couple weeks together going deep on a particular topic, not just learning it, but really implementing in real time. And so we're going to take some people through this project and actually it's available for anyone to come in and join us for this. So I'll share more about that at the end. If this is something you're interested in doing. Okay, so I really think that one of the things we can learn from is the natural cycles of mother nature. You know, we have a spring, summer, winter, fall for a reason. And we need all of the seasons, all of the cycles. It's all important. And I think we can really take a cue from Mother Nature about how necessary it is to honor natural cycles, natural seasons. And so, you know, the winter season, you guys, where I live, I mean, you may have a very different experience. You may be listening to this and you're living somewhere tropical where you don't necessarily get the complete season change of all four seasons. But where I live, we have winter. So we get over 300 inches of snow, well over 300 inches of snow, almost every single winter. And the winter season, like we usually have our very first snowfall sometime in October. And for sure we have snow on the ground until at least April. It's not unusual to have like, you know, a little rogue snowfall even happen at the beginning of May. So we really, really have winter and I've learned to embrace it as best I can. But I do think there is something really beautiful about the season when the days are much, much shorter. You know, where I live, I would say it's probably dark for sure by five o'clock right now in the evening. And it kind of gives me that sense of like, I don't really want to walk out the door. I don't want to leave my house after it's dark. I just want to stay cozy and warm and, and stay inside. And the truth is there is a reason for that. We are meant to embrace some of the stillness that winter offers. We're meant to take time. You know, if you think about spring being as a time of planting, that is often a time when we have a lot of energy, when we're excited to get out of the house and to start creating things and we're planting those seeds. And then summer is such a busy time. We have beautiful summers where we live. So we make up for the long winters by spending as much time as we can 
on the lake, boating, camping, just being in nature, enjoying everything the season has to offer. And it's a really busy time for us. And then fall, of course, is the harvest season where we're just really, in a sense, harvesting. I mean, all the work that we've done all year long, we're really getting to see the fruits of that. And life works the same. No matter where you live, we can take this cue that actually then winter, we go into a time of rest and we are meant to rest. It's how we have the energy to go back into a time of planting and to the busy summer season and beyond. If we never take that pause, if we don't take that rest, we miss out on so much. And so when we're feeling called to something like, you know, I am right now about just changing everything in my home, I feel like it is in some ways, I'm just feeling called to make it such a beautiful sanctuary for us where we can get the rest that we need, where we can be in this creative energy when it's necessary. And I don't mean that we should just be like hanging out in our home, sleeping all winter long. That's really not what I mean at all. Although a little bit of that I think is a really good thing, right? Like taking the time with the shorter days to go to bed earlier, to actually literally rest and maybe sleep more. I think that that's really necessary, but there's a deeper meaning still to what I want to share with you. And I think this concept of wintering, of slowing down, of going within, of taking this rest is so important to those of us who are creative, to those of us who serve a lot of people and are in the process of building businesses in the way that, you know, Kayla and I are. I know that so many of you who listen to us as well, you're building your own businesses, you're leading companies, you're doing so many amazing things. And so we can really learn a lot from taking this time to pause. I think this is Truly for me, this is the place where, you know, especially the month of December, Kayla and I generally will take at least a couple of weeks off at the end of the month. And it's a time where it just gets to be playful and fun. And we do a lot of reading and take some warm baths. And, you know, we just really honor this time off. I always feel like for me, I come out of it. I come into the new year just ready to go. I am so excited. What happens for me during the time that I take off is I am flooded with new ideas. Like I just get so creative. I have so many ideas. I can't wait to work and serve and create and do just all of the amazing things that we get to do. And so I don't feel that if I don't actually take the time to pause. Some of the things that I do You know, I do great self-care all year round, but as the days get shorter, it becomes more important. And some of the things I'm doing like this week is a week that I have a really light schedule. And so I had a healing session this morning. It was remote healing. I have a friend who does healing touch. If you want to know more about that, send me a message. And I'm getting an acupuncture session this afternoon. I have a sound healing session later this week, which might seem like a lot that happens in a week's time, but I often will book these things the last week of the month because that's when my schedule is the lightest. And each one of those things serves me and supports me in another way, but it's so important that we take the time to tune into our bodies, to give our body some nurturing, give back a little bit to all the ways that it supports us. We've talked about this quite a bit on this podcast. So we've talked about making your home a sanctuary as one of the ways that you can go within and start to have this experience of wintering. And it doesn't have to be by any means. You don't have to redo everything the way that I'm feeling called to redo right now. It simply might be creating a decluttered, clean, clear space so that when you walk in the door, you get a sense of rest. You get a sense of it being a place to find some stillness and you're not looking around at things, feeling stressful from the things that haven't been done or that you haven't put away. So another way that you can practice wintering without necessarily just journeying in meditation, we'll touch on that a little bit, but I know that you guys already know this. And there are actually ways that we can have an experience of stillness stepping into this wintering practice that go beyond just the standard things that we might think of. And I know a lot of you guys have that practice already. And so another way that you can do this is to pursue your creativity in a different form. So notice what's lighting you up. Notice what is calling your attention. For me, I've just gone down a whole rabbit hole of design and looking at some different designers, some things on YouTube. And I love mixing new with vintage pieces. I've been looking for some really cool vintage pieces. I've done a couple of like DIY, like thrifted some really amazing, cool things. And 
I'll be adding them to the new that I have created. I just love the creativity of that. And so all of this gives me a sense of whenever I do something that is a creative project out of the norm of, of what I might normally do, I get to just be in the joy of it. I get to be in the sheer pleasure of just pursuing what lights me up, discovering so much about myself in the process of what do I like and why do I like that? Or what if I just, you know, try to mix these two different styles together. What would this be like? I think this is, for those of you who are in business, which is most of you that listen to us, I know, this actually translates in our day-to-day -day life because we're tapping into different styles. We are honing our creativity away from the norm of what we might typically do. And we're getting inspired, we're getting inspiration. This is what happens when we embrace the stillness of winter is we open up to new ways of being inspired. We're stepping out of the hustle. We're stepping out of the day to day and we're noticing like, Ooh, this is really fun for me. Like I'm having so much fun and I'm feeling so creative in a new way. And I know that that will absolutely translate into how I can show up for you ways that I can share and serve new things that I can create within my business will come on the other side of this, but we have to give ourselves the playground and this space to really explore and tap into new and different parts of ourselves. So I really encourage you to embrace this. If, if you're somewhere, I know that not everywhere in the world is stepping into winter right now. And certainly we do have some clients who are actually heading into their summer season because they are in New Zealand, Australia. And for you, this actually, things would be a little bit different. You're in a different season right now and embrace that, right? You can totally embrace where you are and come back to this as you head into the winter season season. So I really, or you can sometimes be, and I've had this happen too, it may be midsummer, but I know that I'm having an experience of needing to rest and needing to go within and just like honoring those cycles. Certainly as women, right? We have a 28 day cycle that we've learned, or some of us have learned to really honor it. And even something like the moon cycles, we've talked about that before too. We can just learn so much from mother nature and what she teaches us about honoring the particular cycles that we're moving through. So tap into creativity, tap into giving yourself a restful sanctuary and then by all means making some space to really tune in and go within for yourself to see what is it that you're feeling called to do and this is where I love my meditation practice I love to journal I love to do oracle card pulls all of those things are also ways that I can really connect with myself that I can begin to receive and get centered and grounded and so that's absolutely a part of it I hope that it will be for you too I want to talk just particularly about the holiday season because we're coming in hot to the holiday season. If you are someone who celebrates the holidays and you know what I'm talking about, that it just can be particularly busy. And even if you're not, I just feel like there's this pressure sometimes around the holiday season for things to go a certain way. People are getting together. And I think, you know, we all, not we all, I shouldn't, shouldn't use that generalization, but certainly there is this sort of pressure from society that we're supposed to have this perfect Hallmark holiday where everybody looks perfect and our homes are perfect and our families are perfect and we're just so joyful and it's all blissful. And the reality of that is, you know, we're all human. And as humans, we are as imperfect as anyone else. We have families that are imperfect. We can get really stressed out around the holiday season. And I think this idea of stepping into wintering, stepping into stillness and going within can really set you up to have a really great experience around the holidays. And so one of the ways that you can do this is to start to get really intentional. I think that for many of us, we have a lot of traditions around the holiday season about, you know, we have these expectations and sometimes they're just expectations we even place on ourselves. It's like we're doing something just because we've always done it or our family has always done it, but maybe we don't even like it or it's something we dread or we don't look forward to, or maybe it's the hustle and the busyness that you don't look forward to. I want to invite you through this process of going within to really curate a holiday season for yourself that feels fulfilling, that feels joyful, that helps you step out of the chaos and really decide to choose what you want it to be. For so many of us, I think that we forget that we have a choice. We don't have to do things the way it's always been done. It's okay to break tradition if you want to. I think some traditions are amazing and I think it's so special the way things get passed down. 
I think that there's so much to look forward to. And then I think there are other traditions that we're just doing because we've always done it. And it's actually time to break tradition. And we often don't pause to really ask ourselves, what does bring me joy? Does attending this party or just doing something in this particular way bring me joy? Does it make me happy? Or am I just doing it because I think I should do it? Or am I doing something because I don't want to disappoint someone? I want to invite you just to look at that and to ask yourself, okay, if I really wanted to honor myself and make a commitment not to disappoint myself this year, what would I choose? What would that be? Are there traditions that you feel like you're ready to let go of? Are there invitations that you really want to decline and that if you did so, you would have a much more joyful season? Do you want to spend more time having some long walks in nature and some time to yourself. Maybe you want to shop less or do less. Or maybe for you, it's like you actually want to be social and you don't want to be alone. You want to, you know, have more social time. Maybe for you, it's like you want to choose to invite some people in and you want to host something. What I want to invite you to do is in this process of going within is to ask yourself, what would bring you joy? And also, what would you like to let go of? What would you like to let go of in order to have a more joyful season? And then what would you love to add? What would bring you joy? What would that look like? Also letting go of any ideas of perfection. Taking a moment to ask yourself these questions. And this is where I would really journal out your responses because we can get so much insight when we actually take a moment to consider before we just jump in and do. And allow yourself to really truly honor what you desire because as you guys know what we desire when it's a true desire of the heart always is leading us on our highest path it's helping us become more of who we're meant to be which in turn makes an amazing experience for the other people around us so even if you're making a choice that initially ruffles some feathers it's all towards the highest good and i want to empower you to Decide how you want the holiday season to be, to let go of perfection this year and to make sure that you're spending time just really curating a space that feels beautiful for you, whether that just means the space within yourself, going within, maybe if it's your physical space, whatever that is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was really fun to chat with you about the holidays. If you want to join us, if you're listening to this in real time, we are creating a new immersion that begins on December 4th and actually the time is this comes out will have uh, day one will have already happened. That's okay. You can still absolutely jump in. And even if it's well past the holidays, maybe you're listening to this later, I would message our team because really often we'll take these immersion experiences and we'll make them available after the fact. So uh, sometimes you can purchase as a recording. Sometimes things are available later on. So if there's something that we ever talk about here that you're like, oh, I'd be so interested in that, make sure that you let us know. But this is a two week immersion. It begins December 4th. We will curate an experience of creating peace and joy in your life over the first two weeks of December. And and really help you hone this practice of going within. It's going to be so powerful. It is a $1,500 value that we are offering for $297 right now. So jump in if you want. I'll link it below. I hope I will see you there. And as always, let me know what you think. If you love this episode, if you want to share something with me, I would love to hear it. Be sure to like this episode and share it with a friend who truly needs to hear this today.